The African Union is lauding Uganda's long decade in concluding its legislation around biotechnology, saying the expertise and isolation facilities remain a model for 35 other African countries yet to pass the biosafety legal framework. The national biosafety authorities at a regional level, they need to have a platform where they share experiences. This is key, and what we have been uh, definitely tasked to do from the AU is uh, to go through the regional economic communities. And the African Union's Dr. Jeremy Tinga was speaking in Kampala at the annual Biosafety Forum, in which it became clear that the quest for biosafety legislation remains underfunded by governments within Africa. But from all of the disasters that were predicted, like wiping out species, killing people, you know, uh, making agriculture uh, toxic and, and so on and so on, none of those things have been, have been realized. Uganda started isolated field trials under biosafety in the year 2006. With the controversial Genetic Engineering Regulatory Act 2018, with amendments passed in November. The president is yet to assent to this proposed law. By having a proper bioeconomic strategy and promoting the teaching of biosciences, promoting the st startups and industry in the area of biosciences, including biotechnology, and also promoting exports that arise out of the technology that is associated with biological substances or biological diversity. Reina Ojan. NTV Business.